All right, Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. I just want to do a response to uh, Brother Polite uh, being in prison, going to jail for about seven years to the effect of uh, molestation or. Uh, child rape or something to that effect uh i watched this video from this elder biblical defenders and i watched the video from the other elder gms dedication i saw the videos uh yesterday but i, I didn't get a chance to watch it but basically uh yeah brother polite uh one of those so-called fake fake deep niggas all right you know he was uh good with words you know but he lied on us. He slandered us and said we was committing these acts. All right. All because of uh, we defended uh, a law in the scriptures. All right. How to handle a situation that the Bible speaks about regarding if a man seizes a woman and snatches a woman up. You know, there's a particular uh, law regarding how to how to proceed if that's done all right and that's all we did all right so when you read uh what's that revelation 14 and 4 all right let me grab that real quick is it four is it four no it ain't four it's uh i don't even see Oh, it is for it says these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins, meaning the women represents false doctrines, other doctrines. All right. We are virgins to other doctrines. We don't make anything with the Bible. When you read Isaiah, it says none shall want her mate. So we, the Bible is the end all be all, not the Bible and the Talmud, not the Bible and the Quran. It says. Uh, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. And who is the lamb? The lamb is Yahweh Shai. And the scripture says what? I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So the whole book, the parts that's agreeable to, to, to you and what you think is right. And the parts that may be disagreeable because you was raised in an Edomite Western society, which shaped your opinion about things. All right. So that's all we did. That's all the apostles and the elders did. All right. Was follow the lamb with us wherever we go. Follow the book. No matter how uncomfortable it make you feel. All right. And, and furthermore, there's a the scripture says what? Uh, all things are lawful. Am I spelling it wrong? It says, uh. First Corinthians six and twelve. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. Meaning that, yeah, in a law, it's right. There's nothing wrong with a man being with a young woman. All right, uh, a twenty-year-old being with a fourteen-year-old, fifteen, hell, and even forty or fifty. But that's not for this time. All right. So even though that's lawful, even though they practice that. In the majority of the world, outside of a Western influence, dealing with today's current uh, predicament, you know, with the children of Israel being in the hands of our enemies, that's something that's not lawful. The scripture speaks about dealing with the, the LGBTQ uh, Q so-called community a certain way. All right. Now, you can't implement that. You can't do that. Because that's not expedient. Let me look up expedient real quick. What was that? First Corinthians 6 and 14. Uh, First Corinthians 6 and 12. Let me look up just to see. Okay, let me see. First Corinthians 6.
Look, uh, in a in a CSB version, everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. All right. So let's see, expedient. Simfero, Simfero, to bring and bring together, to collect or contribute in order to help, to be profitable. So it's not it's not profitable to live like that in this day and age, and that's what our apostles and elders and the men teach. We'll go into the law and we'll speak about how it's okay and how it's righteous and there's nothing wrong with it and how this society is just ass backwards. But then we'll also give you the wisdom behind it. All right. Wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. The proper application of that law is, look, learn. Basically, I'm going to just keep it real. Learn the laws of your state and your area and, and operate accordingly. Because the laws regarding surrounding that situation is different depending on where you at. So uh, you got to obey, you know, the laws of the land as long as they don't interfere with you obeying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. That don't mean you go and get the MOTB. Oh, obey the laws of the land. No. But anyway, uh, back on this guy, polite, because he he lied and said that we was uh, our, our apostles and elders was was. Committing those acts and not only committing them, but teaching them. And we don't teach that. I ain't never heard uh, that since I've been in the truth. All right. Not a, not from Great Millstone. That ain't never been something uh, 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 propagated. All right. So let me grab. Uh, and the elder uh, brought this out. Biblical defenders. He brought this out in his video, too. But I'm going to bring it out, too. Is a uh, second Timothy three and five. It says it says having a form of godliness. Yeah, this is fake deep niggas. All right, uh, 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 fake believers. All right, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All right, for so ain't no the scriptures ain't no unity ain't no oh no you gotta. You know, to a certain extent, you work with some, you contend, all right, with somebody, all right. You uh uh, like the scriptures in uh, Isaiah, the first chapter says it says, "Come now, let us reason together." All right, if you reason together, that means you go back and forth, and you you try to come to a a a, a, a righteous conclusion. But if you can't, then hey, that's it. It says uh. For of this sort, right? Like, 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 like that's what happened with polite and the the the, the, the so-called black conscious community, Sinet and them, uh, about ten years ago, all those years ago, they reasoned the, the apostles and the elders. They reasoned with them. All right, they, there was a dialogue, there was a back and forth, and then at a certain point, then it was like, all right, man, them guys through the so-called black conscious, the fake deep niggas. Yeah, them, yeah, yeah, they might have some information. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't you ain't spiritual. All right? You might have some carnal knowledge, but you're not a, you're not spiritual beings. You're not spiritual individuals. But people credit you as such. And everybody who 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 got scammed from this guy because oh the uh, over the years it's been coming out. He scammed a lot of people. He scammed thousands of dollars of people from individuals. And 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 uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we the poor of the world. We ain't got no money like that. So you don't call it Jake. You know, some of our people got money, but as a whole, when you look when you look at it, the the, the wealth gap between our people and the rest of the nations is 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 great. So you don't took people's whole life savings. People don't saved up 10, 15, 20,000, 30,000, 80,000. And you got that. And everybody who and everybody who was a victim of you deserved that, right? Because these people you follow you follow was comfortable to the palate of your spirit, to the palate of your person. Ooh, I, oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that tastes good. Yeah, but the but the but the bitter things, like the scripture says, when he when he ate the little book, it was sweet in his mouth, but it was bitter in his belly. And but the bitter things, but the bitter things be more beneficial. To you, scripture speaks about how uh, uh, sadness is better than laughter because by the sadness of the heart, the countenance is made better. 
All right. Uh, when you're dealing with food, the, 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 the bitter things, the herbs, all right, the vegetables, the Brussels sprouts, the broccoli, the asparagus. All right. Those things are more beneficial than the cheesecake. OK, it says uh, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins. And it's always just women are just for the most part, be the main ones that fall into the traps of, of the various different doctrines out there. That's why the Christian church is filled with what, especially in the so-called black community, is filled with women. That's why people pander to women. For the most part, because uh, unlearned women make emotional choices that feel good. That's how they get tricked out their box. That's why you got uh, 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 women talking about all these men ain't nothing, but uh, they giving them babies. You know, it says in Lee, but that, that's not it says silly women. All right. Not the not the few smart ones out there. It says silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. All right. So that's who he got. That's the that's the that's the majority who, who he got to from what I've seen. All the people coming forth. Oh, he stole this and he robbed this. It was a lot of women coming forth too. like, damn, he was just tricking them. All right. But uh, let me grab some. Let me see. Oh, nah, that was a good one, too. I ain't gonna get that. Let me grab some. Uh, what is that? This is uh, Psalm 9. Let me see. Right, this is Psalm 9. It says, uh, Psalm 9 and 15. It says, uh, the heathen are sunk down in a pit that they made. And the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Right. And this talking about the other nations laying traps for us and being caught up in their own traps. But this applied to polite, too, because he coming in the, in the mind frame of a heathen. Oh, we on my I mean, We African black conscious. Nigga, we ain't African. He looks similar to one. He probably got a lot of hermetic blood in his DNA down the line. I'm just that, that's just me. That's just what I'm saying. I ain't saying it's true, but he he he, he looked more akin to them Africans, but he a, I, he an Israelite. But he in a, he coming like the heathen, man. He acted he an enemy of the Israelites. The scripture says after two or uh, three admonitions reject and treat him as a heathen, man. So after going back and forth with our people reasoning trying to come trying to come to righteousness according through the scriptures, if they don't want to accept it then they got they're heathen. And what did he do? He acted, he acted like a heathen. He, he shot up the Bible. All right. He uh he he switched up the doctrine. He this, he that. He done been to another planet. This <laughs> nigga done been to another planet. Come on, man. That's why I said, man, whoever got caught, whoever, hey, he, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said it best. It says the deceiver and the deceived are his. So polite and everybody who he got was in the hand of the Lord. So I was correct when I said everybody who he, he got deserved it. It says, uh, yeah, and he laid a net for us to get trapped in. For our apostles and elders and men, the great millstone, the, the Israelites to be looked up, to be looked negatively upon, to be Looked at in a in a in an unfavorable light, calling us grapists, all right, twelve year old girls and all of that, and he getting caught up on you know, on different situations. This is just one he was convicted for, but there's been other situations. I seen a pod they they groomed him and his wife groomed a a, a teenager to be uh uh his second wife. I seen that with my own eyes. I seen a he was on a little podcast or a little video or something. Talking about how they met her. She was 15 or 16 at the store or whatever. And later on, so you groom the girl. But he, he ended up getting caught in his own snare. And in, in, in him trying to 
demean us and have us looked at a certain way. He's, he, oh, he called himself trying to sick the crips and the bloods on us. So all these different traps and all these different snares and all these different things he did against us. Now he, now he caught up in them. Seven years. Jail. Now I don't know how long he's going to do. You know. But that's what it said. All right. And seven, seven years. Seven is completion too. And it happened, uh, the, it happened on the Sabbath yesterday. El Yashawamba video was, was entitled that. All right. So it says, uh, let me see. Let's see something real quick. This is Job 5 and 16. Maybe I'll start up. All right, this is Job 5 and 15. But he saveth the poor from the sword. All right, so we were saved from... Didn't, didn't no crimson bloods come and do anything. All right? Everything that he tried to do uh, against us, it didn't work. And we saw over the years how the Lord was, 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 was getting them. You know, with the, with, the, with the different people coming out, exposing them. Because you got to get exposed, then you get the judgment. See, that's how the, uh, uh, when you read 2 Thessalonians, the Lord said, then shall the wicked be consumed with the spirit of his mouth. That's the exposure and the brightness of his coming. That's the judgment. So he was, throughout the years, he was getting exposed. Uh, his, his wife uh, left him for music, soul child. At one point, his daughter was lost or something like that. Maybe it was the, the maybe the little girl had ran away. You know, when people get, you know, maybe she had ran away real quick. She was tired of the abuse. She was acting out. You know, people act out. Who knows? It says, uh, uh, but he saved the poor from the store, from their mouth, right? And from the hand of the mighty, you know, because, you know, polite doing good for himself. He had a little money, you know, and he, he. Got a, got his few little wives. He riding around in Ferraris and Lamborghinis or whatever. You know, money can be might. You got you can go out and pay people to do certain things. And but we were saved from all of that coming from this guy, which that was light. That was light work. But still, I'm reading the other version next to it. The CSB. It says he saves the needy from their sharp words and from the clutches of the powerful. Right from his from his lion words. All right. So the poor have hope. And iniquity stoppeth her mouth. Right. So we we still got hope. We still got the hope of salvation, the hope of deliverance. And now look at you. You 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 shut off. You shut down. Your mouth has been stopped. And an, uh, uh, iniquity stoppeth her mouth. What well, I'm reading another version the, next to it. So the poor have hope, and then justice shuts his mouth. So for the time being, no more madness from you. All right. Uh, I'm gonna end it on. Uh, on this scripture, real quick. Uh, the last verse of Sirach uh, 1 30. It says, Exalt not thyself. And that's all that guy did. Using them big old fancy words, which sometimes you need certain words to properly convey the point you want. But this guy, like the way he was doing it, like, hey, I read the scripture earlier with with uh with uh fancy words uh deceive the minds is is that what it is? Where the scripture speaks about with crafty words deceive the minds of the simple. All right, it says exalt not thyself lest thou fall and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets. See, his secrets have been discovered. This is what he been doing. The same thing that he's been lying on us for is what he's guilty of. And, and ironically enough, we was given the righteous version of it. All right. There's nothing wrong with, uh, with a, a man being with a woman around that age. If she passed the flower of her youth. All right. She, she, she's able to make babies. She's developed, you know, normally around that 14, 15 and up type. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's why they do that everywhere in the world. Besides white society. That's why they do that everywhere. Because the babies born, when you have babies around that time, 
so-called white science today says children are the, are their strongest when they're born between ages of 16 and 18. That's what the so-called science say today. And that, that corroborates the scripture. The scripture says children that are born in youth are stronger than the, the children that are born later. Why do you think you're seeing these 13, 14 year olds getting pregnant in high school and they eating hot Cheetos and Vienna sausages and noodles and they the ones having the kids growing up to be superstars and basketball uh, prodigies and football prodigies because they was born when the mother was still strong. Not when she was uh, 25 and 26 and been taking uh, antidepressants and smoking and drinking and body getting weaker. and all. Come on, man. But anyway, it says, uh, but back to my point, we, the apostles and elders and brothers who speak on the subject, speak about the righteous way to a, that it's supposed to be applied. He did it in wickedness. Your stepdaughter? That's in the law. You don't, you don't deal with your you don't deal with your stepdaughter. And when you read the law, it tell you who to deal with. You can deal with your cousins, but you can't deal with your sister, your stepdaughter, your auntie, and and you know, your mother's near near kins with things, you know. So he 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 not only not only was he a hypocrite, he was he was doubly hypocritical. We telling you the righteous way to do it. Or not to do it because, like I uh, spoke earlier, that's not expedient. But in biblical times, in the ancient world, the righteous way that it would happen. And he went and uh, not only did it, but he did it in wickedness. So it says, uh, and so the most High discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. Right. So we seen it. Basically, it's been it's been public. All right, because thou camest not in truth to the fear of the Lord, and this is applicable to brothers in the truth, but this applicable applicable to him as well. The, the the upper half of the scripture, but thy heart is full of deceit. So, with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful lady. All praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimei Kakudah Shalom.